हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक दिस क्वेश्चन इज फॉर टू मार्क्स एंड एस फ्रॉम गेट 2001 एग्जाम दे हैव गिवन यू दिस प्रोग्राम यू नीड टू फाइंड इट्स आउटपुट आल्सो इन क्वेश्चन दे आर मेंशनिंग दैट दिस प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज इट यूजेस डायनामिक स्कोपिंग एंड ऑल द पैरामीटर्स आर पास्ड बाय रेफरेंस ओके नाउ लेट अस स्टार्ट दिस क्वेश्चन यू कैन सी दिस प्रोग्राम इज नेम्ड प्रोग्राम पी2 देयर इज वन ग्लोबल वेरिएबल दैट इज नेम्ड एम and is of integer type the keyword where is used for declaring a variable okay how do i know it as global because it is not present inside any function hence it has to be global then you are using this keyword procedure it is used to define a function okay so w is a procedure or a function then inside these brackets whatever is written that is the parameter so this procedure w accepts one parameter that is x and x is an integer okay so what is this begin and end begin and end stands for these brackets only okay just like in c language you use these brackets to define to give the definition of some function here we write begin and end similarly there is a function or a procedure called d so d begins from here and d ends here now you can notice this begin and end is not linked to any function what does this begin and end for it is for the main function look in commands also they have clarified this that this begin is for the entire program named p2 that means this entire code will begin from here this begin is for procedure w that means procedure w begins from here okay so you can assume that this entire code will begin from here this is the first line or you can also say this is the main function okay so let us push activation record for the main function suppose this is the activation record of main function now in first line of the code they have written n is equal to 10 that means you want to assign a value 10 to some variable called n but this n is nowhere declared inside the main function you can see we don't have any memory location called n so what has to be done they were saying dynamic scoping is used in dynamic scoping suppose you are executing some function you are executing this function in dynamic scoping if you want to resolve some variable name first of all look in that activation record only if you cannot find that variable then look in the lower activation record that means this one or the caller function if you cannot find that variable here also then move one step back and look into its caller function okay that means look into the lower activation records and keep on doing this until you reach bottom of the stack when you cannot find that variable here also then you have to look in global variables okay now in this question we are already at the bottom of stack and you cannot find the variable that is named n inside the activation record of main function what has to be done simply look in global variables yes there is a global variable called n that means this variable name it will be this one okay so you are trying to assign n to a global variable sorry you are trying to assign 10 to a global variable suppose this is that global variable okay now in next line you have written d that means you are trying to call this function you can see in this function first line is where n int that means you are trying to declare a variable named n and that is of integer type first thing is when you call this function d a activation record for d will be pushed on to the stack okay then this first line will be executed so whenever you are trying to declare any variable inside a function that is local variable and local variables will get memory in the activation record of that function only so inside activation record of d just declare a variable and that is of integer type next line is trying to assign a value 3 to this variable n see they were saying dynamic scoping is used in dynamic scoping first of all you have to look in the activation record of that function only if the variable is not found then you will look in lower activation records but you can find n here only so this is easily resolved 
then wn that means call a function w pass n as parameter so call a function w that means push activation record of w and pass this n as parameter now they are saying that parameters are passed by reference that means don't pass this value 3 instead pass the address reference means address so pass the address of this n suppose this address is 1 1 2 2 7 okay then this will be passed now this is the new function that is called that means w so inside w there is a variable called x which is local variable and is of integer type to this x we are passing reference of n so x will point to this n that means x is kind of a pointer which contains this address okay so just begin this procedure w it says x is equal to x plus 1 this is x it actually points here so you have to increment this memory location that is named n so just increment it that means 3 now becomes 4 okay then next line says print x so you want to print this but this is a reference variable so actually this memory location that contains 4 it will be printed so what will be the output output is 4 let us see which option is correct you can see we don't have 4 in the options so answer is none of these now options might confuse you if you don't know these concepts properly you might say that 3 is the answer because we are just assigning a value 3 then you might also think that 10 is the answer because somewhere we have also assigned this value 10. You might also think 11 is the answer because 10 is assigned and somewhere we also incremented it. Yeah, here. Here we have incremented a variable. So you might think that 10 is assigned and it was incremented to 11. So 11 is the answer. But actually answer is 4. And hence none of these will be correct.